Before we jump in here, I just wanted to say, please like and subscribe the video, or I'll send the undead after you. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> IGN's top 10 Resident Evil games. Let's see what they got. Jill Valentine. This is the OG one. Resident Evil is a tough series to create a list for. At times horrifying, frustrating, right, Ronnie, and see what you got. camp in equal measure, the series is so prolific that you can find both genre-defining masterpieces and forgettable misfires sporting True. the RE name. It's a series so foundational to the growth of video games and we as gamers that quirks some may find charming and nostalgic can make certain titles simply painful for the rest of the fanbase. For our criteria, we took into account our overall opinion on the quality of the games, the ease of access to play them today, and their importance to the video game industry overall. Um. But make no mistake about it, the joy of working in volume is that there's a Resident Evil game for everyone. So with that said, here's our list of the 10 best Resident Evil games. Resident yeah, Resident Evil is definitely one of my all-time favorite franchises. I mean, going all the way back to like early 2000s when I was just a young teenager, like 13, playing like RE2. Because I think the first one came out even when I was younger. I mean, ugh, it's hard to remember off the top of my head, but anyway, I love these games. I've been playing them for decades now, so. All right, let's see what IGN's got. Top 10, number 10. Resident Evil. Wait, I want to hear that. Resident Evil. Yes. Resident Evil has always struggled with Resident multiplayer. Evil 5. Many entries have tried, but few have succeeded. I liked Resident, Resident Evil, 5. Evil 5. took the series further away from its horror roots and deeper into the action genre. But it yeah, did so it was more, yeah, definitely more action. My name I didn't mind Alma. it. Assuming you're playing with a friend and not the terrible AI, there was a lot of fun to be had. Yeah, the AI was punching bad, your way that's through right. This ridiculous campaign. While we wouldn't recommend it as a traditional Resident Evil experience, it's still a fantastic time with a buddy. Now that your partner has arrived, yeah, I thought it was good. I'll leave you two to catch up. I received special training via a secret... Resident Evil 4 VR? I actually haven't... I don't have VR, so I haven't played it. Resident Evil 4 is one of the most important games but in But I have history. played Resident Evil 4, and just not VR. it's also one of the most ported games in the series. While Resident Evil 4 VR is still the same RE4 game that came out in 2005, it deserves a spot on this list because of the new, albeit VR exclusive, additions it brings to the table. Freeze. RE4 VR excels I mean, in the I mean, that'd be fun, but for it. While RE4 was not in inherently VR, a scary I don't know the, game, I've never played the VR any VR games ever, so I don't know. You would otherwise not get in the non-VR versions. With so many different play options to accommodate various VR play styles, and the fact that you can do things such as dual wield two weapons, shoot two-handed weapons with one, or actually move and not stay in one place, are some welcome changes that made exploring RE4 in virtual reality a true cool. breath of fresh air. Resident Evil 4 VR has been rebuilt from the ground up and plays almost like a completely new game. Even if it is missing the separate ways story mode, the addition of mercenaries mode and unlockable weapons and items, including the classic Chicago typewriter, in a post-launch update uh, yes. has increased the value of RE4 VR and helped strengthen the case that it's one of the best RE4 ports yet. All right, number eight. The original, 96, okay. <laughs> So I was only 11 years old when this game came out. Dang. I remember going over to my cousin's house Resident like during Evil Thanksgiving. The prettiest, most first time I ever seen this game. Best version of Resident Evil. It's undeniable and I it and how I was just like, the original title oh is not God, only this is amazing. A series, but also to survival horror games as a whole. From its unintentionally campy dialogue, so bad it's good voice acting. Stop it. Don't open that door. And offbeat but iconic score, the original Resident Evil is one of those must-play titles that still holds up well against its various remakes, remasters, and sequels. The graphics might be hard to look at when compared to- I mean, looking back now, it hadn't aged well, and the voice acting was terrible and everything, but at the time, this was just, like, it blew my balls off. GameCube remake, and there are definitely areas yeah, of the remakes are good. that can be a bit of a hassle, but its overall charm and extremely campy presentation make playing this not only an itchy and tasty experience, but a memorable journey into the roots of one of the most prolific survival horror franchises. <laughs> Resident Evil 3 Nemesis remains one of the most unique games I like in the series. Nemesis, oh yeah. It, it was a good one. Gameplay elements that would shape the series moving forward. 
RE3 was the first game with ammo crafting, a mechanic that would continue to be expanded upon throughout the series. Oh, that the was the first one with ammo crafting? It also explored that. branching story paths so, yeah. with quick time events that forced players to choose right, so it's between been so options, long. making each playthrough feel unique. However, its crowning achievement Nemesis, was the introduction yeah. of Nemesis, perhaps the most revered enemy in the entire series. Stars. The Stalker enemy has seen many forms throughout the years, but Nemesis remains a fan favorite due to his incredible design and persistence throughout RE3. Yeah, Nemesis was awesome. Was How do you seven, reinvent yeah. a franchise that has already been reinvented several times I before, feel like this all should while be retaining higher. the core ideologies of what made it so great to begin with? Well, you do what games like Metroid, Fallout, and Warhammer did before it. You jump to first person. First person, yeah. Resident Evil 7 brought the series' signature survival horror framework to a new perspective Ooh. and lost shockingly Damn. little along the way. Sure, the third act is a bit lackluster and the enemy variety is slim, but otherwise, Resident Evil 7's setting, characters, puzzles, resource management, and story are just as fun, campy, and creepy as some of the Spider best Woman. games in the series. <laughs> Oh, and if you've got a compatible VR headset sitting around, playing through the campaign like that makes for one that of the most cool in VR experiences Seven. the franchise has ever offered. Village. Resident Evil Village traded Seven's claustrophobia, padded length, and the Texas That's Chainsaw true, yeah. Massacre-esque family for a this healthy dose of action, higher. camp, and a return to a setting reminiscent of Resident Evil 4. And while Lady D certainly dominated the marketing material <laughs> Lady and the <D>. generation, <laughs> she only occupies a fraction of the playtime. There's much more to Resident Evil Village, including House of Beneviento, which stands among the scariest Man, sequences was so in any creepy. Resident Evil game, <laughs> and new archetypes of enemies, with gothic creatures such as werewolves and vampires replacing zombies, with charismatic villains, an eminently replayable story, great action, and stellar locations. The most recent Resident Evil game proves this series is anything but a shambling corpse. Head to the station. Number four, I'll meet you there. Resident Evil 2, yo. Yeah. Okay. That might be number one for me. The original Resident Evil remains one of the most important games in history. Maybe. But Resident Evil 2 is just as, if not more, <laughs> important than its predecessor. The original RE2 established a lot of precedents that have come to be expected in a typical Resident Evil formula. That includes playing the main campaign with multiple characters from branching paths who have their own story that made those experiences stand out and added increased replayability along the way. While the remake is just as good and arguably the more accessible and approachable way to experience Leon and Claire's hellish night in Raccoon City, have so much the original with Resident this Evil game. 2 still offers a lot of distinction, charm, and fear that deserves to be experienced at least once in your lifetime. Three. The remake, yeah. The remake was awesome. If there is one game in the series that perfected the tank control playstyle, it's 2002's Basically remake fixed of the original all the Resident Evil. The stuff cream of the that crop didn't age well with the first one and just made it awesome. The shift to third Update and first graphics and everything. Perspectives. Not only does the remake ditch the cheesiness found in the original game in favor of making it darker and more serious, but Resident Evil Remake also added plenty of new content that you otherwise would not experience in the original, such as the Lisa Trevor subplot. More importantly, the Resident oh, yeah, Evil sure. remake takes a page good. from the handbook of the original Resident Evil 2 and making it a game that will keep you on the edge of your seat as you turn every corner, thanks to the atmosphere and ambiance of the Spencer Mansion. You don't understand. Number two, the re yeah Resident Evil 2 the remake. Situation's worse than I thought. This one was awesome. This may be a one-way ride. Same thing, just took everything so great about number two. While Resident Evil 7 brought the series that, back with um, horror roots. Resident Evil, age well to Resident Evil 2 and it. It's made it's it absolutely amazing. gorgeous to look at and retains some of the series' best pacing to date. It modernizes yeah, all the best parts of pacing. classic Resident Evil games for newcomers, as RE2 Remake is updated with many of the best features from the newer installments. Ammo crafting, an over-the-shoulder camera, and expandable inventory slots. Yeah, just basically made it, it Resident Evil 4, but with the Resident Evil 2 RPD story. And circumvents expectations in unique and horrifying ways. It's designed with so much care and intent, Easter eggs are sprinkled throughout the station. Accompanied by so many updates that fit so perfectly, it's easy to forget they weren't present in the original. Of course, police officers would get between floors of the department with stairs instead of a ladder, like in the original. It also makes too much sense that a precinct this size would, you know, have bathrooms. Perhaps its best achievement was the organic way in which Mr. X chases you throughout the police station. The tension he creates is palpable, and his mechanics make for some of the series' best unscripted scares that catch you off guard during exploration. 
His presence alone yeah. keeps additional playthroughs from getting repetitive and maintaining the I agree horror. with that. Number one. Resident Evil 4, yeah. All right, before we watch this, I uh, just wanted to say, please subscribe to my channel or I'll send a horde of zombies after you. <laughs> All right, let's go. The Resident Evil series has transitioned perspectives and genres a lot, but no single entry was as revolutionary of a jump as Resident Evil 4. Yeah, 4, Evolving yeah. The Resident That's Evil true. That is probably number one. Survival horror games with tank I remember controls playing this on GameCube because it was a GameCube game exclusive and... Resident yeah, Evil 4 was I had so and much still fun. Is, I couldn't put it down. Absolutely incredible near perfect for like a game. month. The campaign is massive and packed with gigantic bosses, epic set pieces and locales. Like Fresh playing it every day, I mean, like for a month. Gives the player <laughs> I can't stop. Of weapons and actions to utilize against hordes of horrible enemies. There was really nothing like it at the time and it not only changed the course of survival horror games forever, it also inspired the third person action game genre yeah. and eventually Resident Evil Village. Modern players approaching it for the first time today might be slightly put off by its lack of run and gun gameplay, but if they can adapt to the stop and shoot and kick, grenade, knife, and suplex style of action, they'll be rewarded with one of the greatest single player campaigns to ever grace a video game. Now they got the four remake coming and out. There you Can't have wait it. for that. Our choice of the top 10 Resident Evil games. Which did you want to see on the list? Make sure to let us know in the comments. And for everything else spooky, nice. keep it right here on IGN. So you like IGN, huh? Right on. Cool. If you guys uh, enjoyed, go check out IGN, like and subscribe their video. And if you enjoyed mine, hit that like and subscribe on your way out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.